Hey YouTube, just a quick little video here. Main attraction is the KRG X-Ray chassis. Came in the mail recently. There's not much out there, so I figured I'd make a little video. If you were expecting a video of high quality, you will be disappointed. But the main point of this is just to give you some info. The KRG X-Ray chassis, Matika T3 Tech, and I guess we'll just go from there. Use the standard Actus International magazines. Oh, that didn't work. Snap cap. Keep things nice and inert. I'm not going to put a hole in the wall. Go say hi to my neighbor. Let's see. Alright. Alright, we are extra safe. Stock comes with two rails, one for the front, which is why I have this here. It's it, just to see what it was like. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it serves no real purpose. Larger rails for back here. If you have a monopod, this comes off, and you can just put the rail on. The butt pad is very nice. I think it's a kick easy, something like that. Let me check. Yep, a kick ease. It's not a pack me air or a limb saver. It's a kick ease. Uh, let's see. Ah, some quick notes. Uh, when I put this, not even in the stock, or not even on the chassis, I did a quick test of the magazine. And as you can see right here, it's not flush, which is a good thing right now, because when I had it, I made it flush. And, let's see here. That little spot right there was actually too far to the rear, so it was hitting the front. But now I have just enough friction. So it's a nice tight fit. If for whatever reason you wanted to run this chassis without the polymer forend, I'm not sure if you can. I wouldn't recommend it even if you can. But um, if you did, I'm going to have some issues with the magazine. Let's see, can't get enough light. It's the polymer, if you can tell the difference polymer between metal. The polymer is what's putting pressure on the magazine sides. So if you just throw this in without the forend, have a lot of play. Ambi mag release, stock trigger. It opens it up quite a bit. So if you're in a sandy environment, it's windy, you don't want to clean that out later, or cover it. Let's see, these are the small grips, and they're, they're fairly large. I mean, the, the big grips must be just way swelled. So, just a heads up. I'm right at six feet tall, and I am going to need the spacer system. So if you order this stock, you're probably going to want the spacers. They're good just to have around anyway. Figured I'd cut costs right at the beginning. All right, um, let's do a quick part breakdown. KRG X-ray chassis, obviously. Tika T3 TAC, Accuracy International Mags, a BCM stubby foregrip, slanted version. Can't remember the name of the model. Harris six by nine. Surefire forend, or excuse me, uh, muzzle brake. Very nice upgrade. Um, can't remember the threads, but these aren't the standard 308 threads. If you have like a AR10 or something along those lines, they have a model for it. But this model right here is specific to the Tika threads. We have a primary arms 4x14 with Butler Creek caps. The Adland scope rings, which are just monsters. They they would probably last on a 20 millimeter. They are just solid. They're dual lug, so you cannot mount these on a weaver rail. It has to be Picatinny. Just a heads up, but they are solid. I mean, these things are. I mean, they're beefier than the Seekins precision rings, and that's that's something right there. Oh, this is a uh, universal cat tail or scope lever. Just pick the name you want. It's nice. Just adjust without having to break any rail rhythm with the hand. Alright, flip that over for you. Get out of the way. Alright. Nothing too drastic on this side. Oh. That is not a QD mount right there. It's just recessed for a screw. Kind of a bummer. I know they have QD mounts available for this though. You see my bed is a backstop so I can just flip this thing with my trusty steed who is off in his own little world right now 
But yeah, that's a quick overview. Not much to it, just providing some information. Hope you enjoyed.